With the introduction of the federal government's new clean fuel regulations, St. John residents are looking to get one last fill up at a cheaper price. I get why we're doing it, you know, to try not to leave such an imprint on Mother Earth. People are barely able to eat. You see the people all around St. John and all the tents and stuff like that. I mean, I think you want to raise gas? I don't know. The new tax is projected to increase gas by eight cents a liter overnight for New Brunswickers, which is double what it is for Nova Scotia drivers. But it comes on top of already high inflation rates, adding more financial stress on Maritimers who depend on their vehicle. Well, I think it's really important for the federal government certainly to understand those realities of living in Atlantic Canada and how, while it's important to reduce our emissions, and there are a lot of ways to do that, continually increasing the cost is going to have a disproportionate impact on Atlantic Canadians. The impact is something residents aren't happy with. Well, if it goes up, it goes up because everyone's going to put the $20 in or pay $0.05 cents more, $0.10, cents, whatever it is. They need gas, they're going to pay for it. The federal government has assured residents rebates are coming to help with the rising cost in fuel. Only problem is that first round of rebates aren't scheduled to roll out to New Brunswick residents until October.